F twenty two B ready to go in the uh, the stupid hoist would not hoist. You see, yeah, what we got here is, uh, this thing right here. Got a, go ahead and point out again, bud. Oil bearing on this right here went out. The seals went out on it, and uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow get another restrictor plate put on it. And it'll be good to go. Yep, you see our nice new stabilizer. Too bad we ain't got a hoist. Stabilizer unit right here. This right here moves back and forth uh, to get the motor at the right angle you need it. So you don't have to go down and out. There's no more down and out at all. Uh, this right here, you crank it up or down and uh, that's uh, it's OSHA approved, so there's no worries about uh, accidents and stuff like that. Why don't you show us something about the, this big empty hole here? Well, this right here is uh, what we call a uh, nuclear power uh, power plant. Uh, it runs off of uh, Miracle Grow. Uh, we've got uh, injectors uh, with special. Uh, Pastor relays in there, so it will run off of Miracle Row. Pulsation uh, dampers. Yeah, it's got pulsation dampers and uh, um, triple sonic relays. So yeah. The Miracle Row will run through the, the lines and through the fuel pump. Yeah, well, that's good. And uh, that's good. That's good. That's what we got going on. A little bit of propane mount insert action. Yeah, propane mount inserts. This will. Uh, this will really put the power to the driver's seat. You will really feel the power. The vibrations are unreal. And when you don't have, show us what we do when we don't have propane inserts. When we don't have propane inserts, you can go to uh, any automotive shop and get a tube of butter. Window, yeah, butter. Uh, Black butter. Yeah, it's black butter. I need to get a zoom in right here, Matt. I'm working on it. Okay. We can get a focus. There we go. What we got is right in here. It's got a uh, joint, and uh, you fill the, the canals that are empty with this window well. And what it is is it's polypropylene. Polyurethane. Polypropylene triptane. Poly. <laughs> Tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, <laughs> LSD. And uh, we fill the empty canal with the uh, polypropylene triplane damathane. Damathane. And uh, it does come in a generic brand, by the way. And uh, what that does, you sit that over about three days, and it'll harden like a rock. And uh, 1295. Get you a new mount. That way you don't have to go to a hot dealership. Order new mounts and spend about uh, three thousand dollars on new mounts, and then you have to put it on layaway and all that. Means you can have to go to the dealership and put parts on layaway. Oh, well that works good. What do we got here in the background? Well, see what we got. Uh, we've got a little uh, sewing machine motor right here. Uh, it's v it's VTEC sewing machine. Oh well, let's let's lift up the valve cover and okay. see what we got going on. Uh, pretty much. That's that clear head, yeah. man. It's uh, it's the newest it's, rave it's with the uh, uh, risers. It's transparent head. Uh, it's something new that's coming out. Uh, invisible valves, invisible cam. The cam's here. Cam gear's there. You just can't see it. Fully adjustable, and the uh, the Fram filter. Yeah. The PH3593A uh, uh, rocks. You can better than the Honda. On, you can grab onto it and you can actually pull the engine out of the car by the oil filter. It's quite all right. Uh, bungee straps go around it. Uh, Alabama chrome also works good. Uh, the, the Alabama chrome with the threads in it works best. With a little bit of JB Weld spackled on the edge. Yeah, yeah. But you know, from now on, you can, you can grab uh, the engine by the oil filter and it'll be all right. Ah. Yeah. Uh, that, all right, I'm going to take over for a second. Back there in the corner, 
That's our 11 second machine. Uh, probably two years out. Uh, B18, B1. Little bitty uh, 11 second machine. Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe. Hopefully it'll get a Benson treatment. Yeah, that is a... Uh... B1? Yeah, it's a B1. Okay, that's a B1. That's out of a, uh, a 94 and up uh, Integra LS, 142 horsepower, uh, 7200 RPMs. It's a rev limiter set. Uh, I rev mine to 74. Yeah. <laughs> what we got but mine's here? broken. <laughs> this right here is a. Uh, Old school cord motor, uh, F22A, uh, it's 140 horsepower, single cam, uh, a cord non VTEC motor. 2.2 liter. 2.2 liter. Diesel. Uh, kerosene, I mean, not diesel, kerosene. It, it runs off pretty much anything uh, except uh, camel urine. It don't Camel urine, I don't know why. Uh, you can't tune the injectors for they, it. They ship these cars to Iraq and um, the sand wearing guys that hold the, the assault rifles with wood grain stock on them, they just keep putting camel urine in a gas tank and it doesn't work. It doesn't do it for them. It doesn't. Uh, what do we got? This right here is. What do we got uh, here, bud? What, what's what's all this action well, right what here? What we did. Uh, it's a, that's the modification, we, right? We played volleyball with this earlier. Uh, we were tossing it around and. Uh, it got dropped and uh, some of the Tupperware broke off of it. Yeah, too uh, bad that's a like a three hundred dollar piece of Tupperware. Yeah, yeah, the Tupperware is, is uh, plentiful around here. We got a couple of them, but uh, and uh, the rest is just history, really. Uh, we got lines, hoses, and stuff, and it's okay if you mix if you mix them up. Uh, you know, just when you get the motor in your car, just tie them together like that. And, and you'll be fine. Just head on down the road, and, and it's, it's no problem. If you get lucky, if you tie the right knot, yeah. you'll get horsepower gains. If, if you take it, take take a gas line, really, like this, and uh, wrap it around there, and tie it, and tie it again, and uh, you're good to go. Excellent, excellent. Let's let's talk a little bit about flow theory. Let's uh let's see what we got here. Let's let's compare uh, throttle body bore sizes. Now, this right here is a high performance flow model. Let's compare it to a uh, sorry flowing model. All right, there's the there's the back of it. Uh, let's hold up a. This is a, a 1.5 liters of D15. This came off of a uh, economy VTEC uh, Civic. D15 Z1. D15 Z. Yeah, and see that has the expensive Tupperware on it that's not broken that we're yeah, going to use for we're Bud's motor swap. Use this Tupperware uh, tomorrow. Uh, the team. Yeah. Oh, body is. This one here came off of um, that motor right there. That motor there. The sewing machine with the clear valve. And, and this one here came off the big body of the cord. That dude right there. It's fat. Almost 45 miles to the gallon and probably about 35 miles to the gallon. That's what we got going on. That works good. Yeah. But we don't want to play volleyball with this one. Right. Here, let's let's let Matthew won't even let me hold that one. Well, here we are. Me and Bud thought we'd take the old hatchie for a ride tonight since the uh, engine hoist broke on us. Well, you know, I know it's been overheating and it's been having its problems, but, you know, it did really bad. <laughs> we did a pull, we did a fourth gear pull on the highway and uh, felt something pop. Then we pulled off and there's antifreeze going everywhere. 
And it looks like there is antifreeze leaking out of the front bumper there. So there was steam. And then we, uh, you know, the engine's running in the high red. And uh, no hot air coming out of the vents, just solid cold air, which probably means we were running with no coolant whatsoever. Um, we didn't have Honda Lager going, so I don't know what, uh, you know, we had the laptop, but we didn't have it hooked up. I don't know what uh, engine temperature we were running, but we were way up in the red, so I'm betting we, uh, you know, warped the head or something like that. It's probably pretty bad. Here comes Bud with the flashlight. Um, he's going to pop the hood for us. Look at the coolant all over the hood and the front bumper and shit, man. This is going to be great. Pop the hood. Sure. Yeah, let's go with it. All right. Uh, there's coolant all coolant. over the place. Everywhere. Uh, here, go ahead and prop the hood up. Let's see if we can see where it busted at. It's all over the hood. Yeah, glistening coolant. Um, I'm going to pause this really quick. And we're back. We found out uh, what the deal was. If you can see right here, bud, get the light going on it. Uh, blew my upper radiator hose apart. Uh, you can see I, I have this crazy manifold so I can run air conditioning. It's the Love Fab Sidewinder. Um, and I had to do this crazy upper radiator hose. Bud, can you get the light on the radiator hose? Yeah, it's uh, really crazy. I had to piece it together with, uh, with steel tubing and different radiator hoses, and it looks like we blew it apart. And that's probably because uh, I have a blown head gasket and when we're going into boost we're pressurizing the coolant system so the excess pressure in the uh, coolant system blew the hose apart and in the process we probably cooked the head too uh, since we were running it really hot um, but yeah run with no coolant for about uh, two or three miles it's uh, great fun uh, engine probably pumped all that coolant out in just a matter of seconds um, so this car is uh, probably this motor is probably toast <laughs> yeah. You think we uh, warped the head there, bud? Definitely uh, warpage. Definitely warpage. Uh, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but this baby's ready to get down to my dad's house and get everything yanked out. It looks like there will be no car show now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I will probably put it back together and uh, fill it up with coolant and see what happens one of, maybe next week or something and uh, not boost at all. And if it drives all right, I'll still enter in the car show, but if not... Uh, we it's done. It yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. That sucks, man. There's coolant everywhere. Yeah, that's hideous. Get a shot on the, the pipe busted off again? Yeah. Right there. That's where I'm spewing coolant, baby. I knew I heard it. empty of coolant right now. I knew I heard it pop. Uh, I felt it, like, boost up, and then boom. It was gone. That thing just died. Look down in here. The green. Yeah, vapors. a little bit of coolant vapors floating out of there. God, man, that thing's got to be hot. I wish I had a, a temperature gun. Man, we were gonna. I wonder if the. Can you see the tab on it anywhere? The heat tab? Does it have one? It should. Did they. Did you put one on there? No, but I think I saw one on there. It might be on the back. I don't know. It looks like my car's crying. Look at the all the coolant coming out of the side of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little car. I'm so sad. Get in the tissue. We need the tissue. Oh man. What fun. You know, blowing radiator hoses apart. Yeah, here's your heat tab. Is it falling off yet? No, it's still there. Excellent. So that means good to run. <laughs> Ain't that it right there? Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that would be the heat tab. Now, if it falls off, that means it... Yeah, if it falls off, that means it's uh, cooked. <laughs> Put your hand on the top cover and let's see what it's like. No. It's not anything I would expect it not to be pretty warm but you know it's already got a knock in the bottom end so 
We'll see how it does. Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> go back to dad's and go to sleep? <laughs> I guess. All right. Well, watch the video maybe a little yeah. bit. Yeah, we'll watch the video. How did you get like that? It just gets really white. <laughs> Why's it got to be white? I hope. Liz runs. <laughs> <laughs> The pimp ride is no longer pimp. You wanna, uh, well, I couldn't say, you should've got it while it was in the red. Yeah, well, I'm not turning it back on. Yeah, well, I mean, no, just the key. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's probably way cooled down now. Wish we had Honda logger going so I could've seen what temperature we were actually running. Yeah, it's probably on its way down. So, yeah. Call it a night for this car. <laughs> That's the first time that's ever happened to me. I'm gonna post that up on Honda Tech, that'll be fun. I wish I had my memory card so then I could post this video up. Be like, yeah, yeah. All right, well, signing off on this thing. About eight o'clock in the morning now. Buzz well, got a mouthful of Listerine. We're on our way to uh, go get an engine hoist so we can get this swap done. Yeah, after last night we got some good sleep. You're blowing the car up. All right, more later. Well, we've only recorded 18 minutes. Really? Yeah, well that's Bud. This is our new uh, pretty engine hoist that we purchased with the stabilizer that I purchased yesterday. So hopefully this thing will not fail us in getting that thing in there. This is the second attempt. Actually, this is the third attempt. This cause... is the third attempt. First two times with a busted cylinder uh, around yeah. on, on the engine hoist. That one there, we, that one's, it's got air in it or something it's and it ain't doing. Seals are bad or something. It ain't doing right. It ain't doing right. Yeah, so we have it on the one ton mark, the one ton mark. Um, we don't think that we don't think that engine's gonna weigh more than a ton. No. I reckon it'll be about 0.897326 tons though. Three quarter. Three quarter ton. Three quarter. Three quarter We're about ton. to put the motor in. And, uh, next time you see us, it's gonna be in there. Yeah. Next, next time you see us, we're gonna have that engine magically in. So in like in like three seconds on the video. The motor's gonna be in. It's gonna be amazing. That, that's uh, turbo supersonic speed. Yeah, we are gonna be like, we're gonna turn this thing off and then turn it back on and be like, whoo, man, we worked really fast, but we got that motor in there yeah. really fast. We gotta put grease on it. Yeah, we're gonna look good. All right, that's it. That's it. Uh, okay, a lot. Uh, we're not done yet. We just this is about ten minutes later. Uh, got the motor up in the air, but is uh, tilting it back with our stabilizer, which just came apart. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I like that. Well, they're using a piece of threaded rod instead of like a Acme screw thread, which is not that good, so it's kind of a cheap stabilizer, but whatever. It ain't tilting that much. Oh well. We'll let you know how it goes. Where's the thread and bolt that? Is it in this thing? We'll let you know how it goes. Well, we're about to have lunch. Where, uh, that back mount is being a pain in the butt. Uh, we got the motor hung in there with the crane. But none of the mounts in yet. It's a 91 Accord, 90 Accord, with the F22B dual cam non VTEC 2.2 liter. First year of this body style. The what, fourth generation Accord? Yeah. And Accord has never had a dual cam motor in it, so. This is going to be a hybrid of a mixture of an Accord and a Prelude. Yeah, I see. I keep thinking of names I'm going to 
come up with it and thought of maybe pre-AC or a cood. That's our problem right there. That polyurethane mount is really hard to get that bracket over. Uh, we're just having a real tough time getting it all wedged in there. And that's, that's you can see the polyurethane mount there and the bracket that's sitting on top of it. That blue thing is a clamp to push the uh, polyurethane together inside the uh, holster. That's wood clamp. We gotta take care of it and put it back. Yeah, we're gonna have to wipe the fingerprints off of it. It's gonna have grease all over. Yeah. Yep. Lots of parts to go back on the car. A lot of stuff. Got the space right here where the motor did sit. Not there anymore. Now it's there. Yeah. Not there. There. Well. I can go eat some lunch. We'll have lunch. I'll have lunch. Lay on the floor some more and I'm gonna be riding with that mile. I'm hungry. I'm pretty dang hungry. We're gonna go eat. We're gonna go eat. I have lunch. I have lunch. And then come and back. Come back and monkey with some more. And monkey with some more. When it won't fit, grind it. Huh? That's what we say, isn't it, bud? What? When it don't fit, grind it. As you can see, the engine's hung in there. We're getting stuff in. We, uh... The cross member is in the way of putting the exhaust in. We can't get the exhaust through that hole, so we're having to grind part of the cross member away. So, uh, yeah, it uh, sucks, but you have to do what's necessary. Grind away, bud. Grind away. motors in the car it runs it's not very good it's got some hitches some bugs in it we got to work out but uh, we're gonna get her done tomorrow it's uh it is 10 20 at night on Saturday night huh I don't know the header is smoking but uh I don't know if this camera will pick it up or not. Yeah, well, it, it runs kind of sputters. Uh, I think it might be vacuum source or uh, maybe have to readjust the throttle position sensor. Uh, I don't know. It could be a couple of things. But the F22B is in. It runs. We had a, a I think we had a good, pretty good day. Didn't end on the note we wanted to, but we had a pretty good day. Uh, 13 hours of work with breaks, of course, but... <laughs> it has been 13 hours. It has been 13 hours. Goodness. All right, well, maybe we'll get some more footage tomorrow of this thing running great. All right. <laughs>